So, what are we doing all the tunes? Just not enough. <laughs> Throw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the tunes on that vocal check. It's like, nah, <laughs> let me stop. But look, we're gonna get into that today. Let's get into the prank thing thing. Yeah! What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Q Lord, aka The Wave Man, 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 man. Here with another tutorial from WaveMonopoly.com. And you already know what time it is, man. Today, we're gonna be getting into what we do when autotune just isn't enough, all right? Now, I kind of want to do this in two ways where we explain when autotune isn't enough, meaning we aren't getting the pitch correction that we're looking for. That's the first way. The second way is what we do when autotune is maybe a little bit too much and we're trying to make it more natural, right? So this technique that I'm going to be showing you guys today is actually going to be showing you guys um, how to get those effects, okay? When it's not enough or if it's too much and you kind of want to make it a little bit unnoticeable. Let's get right into it, all right? So if you look on the screen right now, guys, you can see um, we have a Pro Tools session up right now. This is actually our Rod Wave vocal chain. So if you're looking for vocal chains and vocal presets, make sure, guys, check down below. Um, link in the description, wavemonopoly.com. We got you set for all different type of DAWs, Pro Tools, Logic, FL Studios, Ableton, GarageBand, whatever you have, I'm pretty sure we got it on there. So make sure you check that out, all right? Nonetheless, we have our Rod Wave vocal preset right here um, in Pro Tools. This is our Waves version. And right now, I'm gonna play the sample um, with <clears throat> so without auto tune. Why not? Let's expose me, right? Uh, without auto tune, we'll play the, the 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 vocal sample that I just literally recorded just for this video, and um, we'll get into how to achieve this effect when auto tune just isn't enough. Let's get right into it. Like, have you ever felt hopeless? Now, I already know, like, if y'all wasn't feeling it, I just wanted to go, hell, hell, you put the ad-libs in for me, man. Comment some ad-libs that y'all just was saying while that 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 uh, sample was going, all right? But look, um, that's the sample right now. No auto-tune, no pitch correction going on at all. Um, I'm sure you could hear some of those spots where I kind of got off-tune, you know, off-tune, the pitch was kind of off. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is actually, the technique is actually putting two pitch correctors on to kind of break up that pitch corrector work so that we can get a more natural sounding vocal and that we can actually kind of um, really get the mess-ups that maybe some auto-tunes would uh, miss because that happens sometimes. I've received sessions where even with that auto-tune on there, there's some parts that are just still a little pitchy. So right now we're going to do two pitch correctors, okay? And I'm going to show you how we kind of break this up and let's get right into it, all right? So in this vocal tutorial, we are using the Wave Tunes by Waves, right? Wave Tunes, um, real time? Nah, it's definitely not real time, so scratch that. Um, this is the graphic mode one. So um, this has been out forever. I've been using this literally for like years, years. So um, we're going to be using that. And we're going to be using Antar's Auto-Tune Pro, right? Um, in your case, you could be using EFX, any work, okay? But in this instance, we're going to be using a graphic equalizer, which also Auto-Tune has as well. So uh, we could put two Auto-Tunes on here and just go into graphic mode and do it the same way. But I'm a lot more familiar with graphic mode um, with this. I've just been using it for so long. So let's get into it. The first thing that we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take our wave tunes, right? So assuming that we know the key of the song, okay? And this, and in our case, it's D flat, D major, uh, yeah, or D sharp, something like that. Um, so this is the key right here, right? So we know the key of the song. That's the first step, okay? Like I said, that's the first step. So we could do a, a multiple of ways to find that, which is auto key by auto tunes. Or if you don't have auto key, feel free to go to wavemonopoly.com. We have a key finder on there as well. Um, just top menu, music tools, key finder, and it'll give you that key, right? So boom, we have our key here. So the first thing we're gonna do is put it through our graphic pitch corrector, okay? So what this is gonna do is gonna scan pitch by pitch, get every single note, and then we're gonna kind of um, pitch correct it in a way and start to tune it um, in a very non-abrasive way so that it can pick up the notes that we are getting, you know, we're off key in, and we can just correct them just a little bit, all right? Still sounding very natural. So let's go ahead and do that. Like, have you, have you ever felt hopeless? Stay up for me, she 
said, oh, I got no space for me. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing on the top one right here. I'm not sure if it's in there yet. It looks like it is, but I'm just gonna make sure. I asked if she gonna stay up for me. She said, oh, I got no space for me. All right, so boom. Now, so as you can see, we have a D flat major, right? And the same thing as a D flat major is a C sharp major as well, okay? So right here, of course, we're trying to find our D, our D, uh, our D flat, but it's not here. So we're gonna go with our C major because like I said, it's the same thing as the D flat, okay? So we're gonna do our C sharp and we're going to simply select all, all right? So it highlights them all. And what we're gonna do now is kind of fine tune it, right? So the faster we make the speed in milliseconds right here, you can see these lines get straighter. When the lines get straighter, that means it's literally kind of doing that auto tune effect that, you know, you know, auto tune, straight, robotic -y, right? Now, naturally, the more wiggly it is, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that, that vocal, natural staying on note, right? So we're gonna make the speed not too fast, right? We're gonna leave our note transition. We're gonna bring it up a little bit, okay? Um, we're gonna bring it down some. Boom, nothing too crazy. Um, let's hear how that sounds just by itself with the wave tunes, okay? I'll do the same, 63, 106. And these are very, very, like, these are not fast um, speeds of transitioning between notes, okay? So it's gonna be very natural. So let's hear it. Hey, have you ever felt hopeless? Now that sounds really good. Now a lot of times, like I said, guys, if you're an R&B singer, this could work by itself, right? Um, let me go ahead and bypass it so that we can hear what it sounds like without it, all right? Like, have you ever felt hopeless? That ocean is really pitchy, right? So let's hear it one more time with it. Like, have you ever felt hopeless? Yeah. You were running in an ocean. Yeah. Right, so we want to keep it really natural. As you can see, this is not auto-tuned out all the way where it's just... Right? None of that, okay? <laughs> None of that. So, very natural, all right? Then what we're going to want to do is go right behind that Waves Tunes or the Graphic Pitch Corrector and go ahead and add our Auto Pitch Corrector, all right? So our Auto Pitch Corrector in this case is Auto Tune, Antares Auto Tune. If you don't have it, feel free to look down in the description, guys, and you can go ahead and get yourself, you know, Auto Tune, all right? The whole bundle. Do your thing, you hear it? So, um, yeah, like I was saying, this is the Auto Tune, right? Now, what we want to do is kind of break up that work, right? We don't want either one of these pitch correctors to be solely doing the work of pitch correcting the whole vocal, right? So we're going to go with something very natural as well. We're going to keep it up. We're not going to go too fast on the retune speed. We want to bring the humanize up as well so that we can get something very natural but very modern sounding, right? So we're going to go with the 18 retune speed, um, 68 humanize. That's going to keep us very natural sounding as well. Two pitch correctors going on at the same time. Let's take a listen. Let's go ahead and copy this right back up here. Let's get it. Like, have you ever felt hopeless? Yeah. Like you were running in an ocean. Yeah. Yeah. I told her, wait up for me. I asked if she gon' stay up for me. She said, oh, I got no space for me. Sounds very, very, very natural. Sounds very ear pleasing. It doesn't sound distracting. All right. This is what we're going for when auto tune is just simply not enough. All right. Whether we want to get a more natural sounding auto tune or if it's not doing the job, if one is just not doing the job, all right, we're going to go ahead and split the work between two. All right. So that is a tutorial, guys, when auto tune just isn't enough. You dig? Throw 15 of them things on there. You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy Cute Every Way, aka uh. Oh. You already know the name, man. You already know what time it is, man. Oh.